custom clearance of export cargo. The concept of customs operation is as old as the trade itself. In the old days, there was a tradition followed by traders of offering gifts, etc., to kings to be able to sell their merchandise in different territories. The same practice has been formalized in the modern economic and political systems. Goods are subjected to levy or duties whenever they cross the national frontiers or boundaries of a country. Despite all efforts in favor of free trade, collection of revenue is still on priority of the commissioner in charge of a custom house. In this lesson, we will learn the objectives, basic information, documents and duties related to custom clearance of import cargo. We will further study the stages and procedure of custom clearance and the operation of electronic data interchange system. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand objective of custom clearance, custom clearance procedure, clearance procedure shipment by air. Apart from being a source of revenue, the major objectives of custom clearance are check smuggling, those transactions which do not take place in accordance with provisions of different laws in force in India amounts to smuggling. It is the duty of customs administration to check such transactions. Regulate trade. Custom clearance help in regulating trade in accordance with national objectives and policies. Violation of any provision of the exim policy as decided by Ministry of Commerce ipso facto is a violation under the Customs Act with regard to various prohibition and restrictions imposed by the government. Agency function. To undertake agency functions, that is, functions performed on behalf of other agencies. For example, it is the custom responsibility to ascertain that the requirements emanating from different acts in force are complied with or not. It may be requirements of the Foreign Exchange Management Act or Quality Control and Pre-Shipment Inspection Act. Collection of Trade Data To collect trade data and submit the same to Directorate General of Commercial Intelligence and Statistics, DGCI and S. Calcutta, Ministry of Commerce. Every exporter is required to seek customs clearance of the export goods before sending them to the importer. The exporter can send the shipment through any one of the modes of transportation of the goods as shown on the screen. Shipment by air, shipment by sea, shipment by post, shipment by road. The procedure for customs clearance is essentially the same whether the shipment is sent by air or sea or post or land route. However, there are minor variations available in these. The process of customs clearance of the export shipments involves the following stages. Checking of the shipping documents, physical examination of export cargo, loading of the goods, post-loading certification. While checking of the shipping documents, the CHA or exporter makes the actual booking of cargo with the airlines in advance and the carting order is obtained. Even the airway bill is also taken in advance of the arrival of the flight. Once the order for physical examination is given, the physical examination is conducted by the designated inspector in quick succession. Therefore, it is advisable that the goods should be brought along at the time when the documents are being presented. Once the order for physical examination is given, the physical examination is conducted by the designated inspector in quick succession. Therefore, it is advisable that the goods should be brought along at the time when the documents are being presented. After the let export order is issued, the export cargo is moved to the bonded area for its storage, 
palletization by the International Airport Authority of India. The latter acknowledges the receipt of the cargo on the carting order and the copy of the airway bill. After loading of the cargo, the captain of the airline's flight signs the duplicate and triplicate copy of the shipping bill against the goods received by him. After the process of customs clearance is over, the CHA or exporter is returned all the documents he had submitted except the original copy of the SDF form as the same is sent to the RBI directly by the customs. Let us check our progress by finding out right or wrong. The custom duty in India is regulated by the Customs Act of 1960. Right or wrong? Wrong. CHA stands for Customs House Agency. Right or wrong? Wrong. After the let export order is issued, the export cargo is moved to the bonded area for its storage. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. The exporter should take steps to arrange for customs clearance of the export shipment so that the goods can be exported to the foreign buyer. In India, custom clearance is a complex and time-taking procedure that every export face in their export business. Physical control is still the basis of custom clearance in India where each consignment is manually examined in order to impose various types of export duties. High import tariffs and multiplicity of exemptions and export promotion schemes also contribute in complicating the documentation and procedures. So, a proper knowledge of the custom rules and regulations becomes important for the exporter. For clearance of export goods, the exporter or export agent has to undertake many formalities.